Google routines can help you perform multiple tasks with the use of just one phrase. And today, I'm going to show you five routines that I use on almost a daily basis. But first, I'd like to say hi. My name is Carl, everybody's favorite ginger, and welcome to The Real Ginger Tech. Here, I like to do tips, tricks, and reviews on just about anything tech I can get my hands on. Welcome to the channel. I would like to start off with a little disclaimer though, I will be using Google's wake word, so if you have a device nearby, go ahead and hit that mute button. For those of you who have a mini like me, the mute button is going to be right back here, flip it over, the mic's off, and it will tell you the mic is off. So let's get started. With Google routines, you have the ability, like I said, to execute multiple actions with one command. And what's nice about that is you can automate things, true home automation. Now, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about some of your options, I'll put a link down in the description below. But let's get started with the actual routines. Number one, getting ready in the morning. Everybody has a morning routine that they like to do in certain orders. I like to incorporate my Google Mini into that routine by finding out what the weather is going to be like today, what the what I have on my calendar and what's going on in the news. Plus, it also helps control my lights, which helps get me out of bed a little bit quicker in the morning. So all I have to do is say, "Hey Google, good morning," and it will respond. Good afternoon, Carl. It you is an it. afternoon Setting when the I bedroom filled in brightness this. to fifty percent. The time is one o nine p.m. Right now in Rochester, it's twenty seven with fog. Today, it'll be cloudy, with a forecasted high of 30 and a low of 24. Minnesota. Today at 2 p.m., you have, record a YouTube video. Following that, tomorrow at 8 a.m., you have, D&D. I'm a nerd. By the way, remember to, pick up milk from grocery store. Have a nice day. And it will start playing news after that. Here's the latest news. Hey, Google. Stop. And so with that, it kind of will go through a series of news articles that I have picked that I want to hear every morning. I find it really handy, and I do like the fact that it will turn on the light for me, which does help me get out of bed better, better in the morning. Number two, leaving the house. So I have a dog that I like to leave a couple lights on, but not all of them. So I've actually set up as part of my routine to turn off most of my lights, but leave a couple on and actually dim them. So, along with that, I also have my Google Assistant making sure the TV is turned off and that all music has stopped playing. So all I have to do is say, hey Google, I'm leaving, and, okay. I'll, and it'll turn off the lights, it'll make sure the t have signal to the day, TV... Carl. Wishes me a great day. It'll make sure the TV has been turned off, and I don't have to worry about, did I leave my bedroom light on, my electricity bill is going to go up, anything like that. Uh, you know, and you can add a variety of things to this, such as security cameras or thermostats. If you have a Nest thermostat or any other smart thermostat that works with the assistant, you can have it set to an away mode. Number three, when I arrive home, I like a certain things done turn on certain lights, get some music going, and then also if I have any reminders that I've set to when I arrive home, do this. All I have to do is say, hey Google, I'm home. Hi, Carl. Turns on my lights for me that I had to turn off. It starts playing music. It can also remind you of something that you were supposed to remind it of when you got home. Hey Google, stop music. You can also add uh, other things such as stop recording if you have a security camera or turn the thermostat back up if it's 24 degrees outside like it is here or any of those features. So if you have more equipment or more home automation stuff, you can apply those to those same routines. Number four, watching a movie or a TV show. I personally love movies. I'm a huge movie buff. I'll watch just about anything once. And with that, I think there's certain ways you have to watch a movie. One is you have to have a bowl of popcorn. Two, you have to turn down the lights. You can't be watching it in broad daylight or in bright lights. And three, I like the volume at a certain level. Now, 
I start my volume off at one level and I will slowly raise it accordingly. But all I have to do as I'm popping that popcorn is say, hey Google, let's watch a movie. Sure, setting the bedroom brightness to 15%. Turning the TV on, setting my volume to 35 because I have a sound bar hooked up and so it gets pretty loud right off the bat. But boom, that popcorn is done popping. I hop down on the couch, I sit back, and I start scrolling through all the movies that I want to watch. And I think that's just great. It's simple, but I love it. Or you can have it automatically load a specific video. If you're binge watching something on Netflix, you replace that, or you add on to there that it will start a certain TV show, such as like Supernatural or The Good Doctor, or anything that you may have that you're watching repeatedly at the time. Number five, going to bed. Every night when I go to bed, Kind of the same thing as my mornings. I have certain routines, lay back, watch a little TV. But I do like to be reminded of what I have going on the next morning. I do like to set an alarm every morning the next morning. And I would like a little bit of background music or background noise, white noise, something like that, just to kind of help me fall asleep a little easier. So all I have to do is, after I've been laying in bed for a little while and I'm actually ready for bed, Turn off the TV and say, hey Google, good night. Tomorrow in Rochester, it'll be mostly cloudy with a high we'll of 28 and a low of 16. What time should I set the alarm for? Mmm, 8 a.m. All right, your alarm's set for tomorrow at 8 a.m. Good night. It'll turn off my light for me, and I have it playing wave sounds in the background. Those are the five routines that I use on almost a daily basis. And as I get more devices and more features come out, those routines will t continue to grow exponentially. Now, I have a question for you. What are some of the routines that you use? How do you modify them to work for you? Do you have certain things that I didn't have here? Uh, put them in the comments down below or hit me up at Real Ginger Tech over on Twitter. I'll put a link down below. You can connect to that too. But I would like to thank you for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. I'm a big boy. I can handle it. But thank you for coming out, and I will see you next time.